Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So last uh, time when I created the same video, reverse sort engineering, but when I went through that uh, video, it was not very clear. Yeah. So I thought of recreating this uh, and uh, deleting that old video. So let me quickly explain you one more time. Okay. So what is that reverse sort engineering? Okay. So I hope you understood about this uh, first problem, uh, reverse sort. Uh, uh, because you need to understand this problem first. In order to understand that problem, okay. But uh, uh, the detailed explanation about this problem has been uh, given in the other video, which I'll be leaving in this uh, uh, suggestion card above, okay. So, but anyway, I will just quickly show you how this uh, uh, technique works, okay. So, for example, imagine that you have uh, given four numbers, okay. So, these are the four numbers. The question is to sort them and tell us, like, uh, give the output on how much work. You need to do in order to sort this uh, array okay say for example you have this array 4 2 1 and 3 okay so uh, to in order to sort in order to make it like 1 2 3 and 4 how much effort you need to put okay so we I and mean, we need to apply the reverse sort technique okay so when you search for the number one it's uh, it's placed in the position the third right one two three third position so work is equal to three four one okay so and then you have to uh, reverse the entire array that is it, it will become more one two and four from this position you have to reverse this entire series and uh, keep the three as it is so <coughs> this is the your new series then for uh, what is the work okay for the digit two okay since it's already placed in the uh, it's already in the place so when you go through this item it's already in the place so work is only one because you are going through only one item okay done so this is the, uh, remains as it is, as it is. okay and in the logic you, you are like uh, what you're doing is like you're reversing two with itself and you're reversing only this item so it will not uh, alter anything uh, okay so let me do one more time Okay. and what about 3 so when you come here so since these two arrays are already sorted 1 and 2 so you can start from here and when you look for number 3 okay it's in the fourth position okay we're starting from here right when you look for number 2 you're starting from here okay when you look for number 3 you're starting from here because the first two digits are already sorted okay and when you look for number 3 it's already in the fourth place so the work you take is 2 because you have to go through this the number and this number so you find number three in the fourth place and then you have to re uh, reverse the array so one two and three and four okay so total amount of work is nothing but two plus one plus three is equal to six six okay for this series to be sorted using reverse sort technique okay that is what the answer is i hope this is clear okay now let us move to the reverse sort engineering Okay, this reverse sort engineering says that you have to sort this array, okay, this entire array using, uh, uh, they will be giving you this, okay, uh, one second, sorry, then they will not give you this, in the reverse sort they have given you the series and you have to find the work, but here they will be giving you the work, they will give what is n and they will give what is work, okay, and you have to find out the series itself. Okay, for example, the n is nothing but uh, uh, 4 and uh, the work is, they will give you a work as uh, 6 for example. Okay, and you have to find the entire series. And I just want to tell you one thing that when they give a work 6, right, it may be, uh, it, ca it, it can be this series or it can be some other series also. Okay, for example, the amount of work for this series and this series is exactly same, 6. So whenever they give you the uh, the total amount of work and the series, right, n is equal to 4 and work is equal to 6, the there can be multiple answers also. So it's up to you, how will you find out? For example, let us say, uh, yeah, if you see this uh, uh, solution here, the statement here, they are stated clearly that uh, there can be a multiple solutions, so you can output any of them. Okay, and uh, if I just, uh, and I will be leaving in this video description the link for this uh, uh, website so you can go through the problem one more time. Okay, 
So, and as you see here, they are given on the five test cases and four is number n and six is the work and they are given, this is the one of the output. Okay, so they are given two and uh, and only one work. This is, I think, easy actually. So, if they are given two, n is equal to two and work is equal to one, means we have only two numbers, either it is one or two or two or one. Okay, so if the number is in order, okay the when you go through this number one okay so you have only one time you have to do work that is uh, work is equal to one here and here the work is equal to two because you have to uh, when you search for number one from this initial position you have to search two times and by the way no need of searching the last number because when you are sorting n minus one numbers the last number will be automatically sorted it will, it will be in the present uh, it will be placed in the final position okay and when they give n is equal to 7 and uh, w is equal to 12 so this is the series okay and here by the way work they have mentioned it as num c i think not uh, w okay so i, I, I also use the same uh, uh, variable so c is equal to 14 and w n is equal to 7 so this is the series and there are some cases where this is impossible okay for example you have like a series of 1 2 3 and 4 okay and uh, <coughs> Even though the series is in the uh, ascending order, already in the sorted order, you have to loop through at least n minus one times uh, to find whether it's sorted or not. Okay, so the minimum amount of work to do this uh, to uh, make this series in sorted order using this technique is n minus one, which is nothing but four minus one is equal to three. Okay, so here also the uh, amount of work for the series having seven digits, uh, one to seven. Okay, so the amount of minimum amount of work is 6, not 2. 2 is also impossible. If they want to give 3, 4, 5, it will come, come under impossible. Same thing for 2 also. The minimum is 1 and maximum is 2. Okay, what is the maximum? Maximum is nothing. Okay, when you sort this array, okay, so the minimum is, uh, uh, you understood the minimum is equal to n minus 1. Okay, for any n, right now n is equal to here okay maximum is nothing but it's a worst case scenario okay because when you search for one it's placed in the uh, in the last order one four three two one for example okay so maximum is nothing but uh, four right and then you will be searching for uh, number two from here so two will be placed in the last so the n is equal to 3 and plus uh, 2 and so on okay here i think uh, you have only 3 plus 2 plus and last number you are not uh, sort trying to sort okay you are going only to n minus 1 so answer is 4 plus 3 plus 2 and same thing you can generalize this as n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 and so on till 2 not not considering the first numbers so uh, this is nothing but the sum of n natural numbers which is nothing but n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and minus 1 because we are not considering number 1 okay this is your uh, maximum limit okay so let me quickly show you the presentation okay here you have the work minimum work for this uh, uh, for this series from 1 to 4 is as 1 if it's 1 is already in the first place but what about maximum work maximum work is nothing but and the number 1 is placed in the last position that's maximum work is equal to 4 and once you uh, do this sorting for 1 okay 1 will be fixed here and you are doing the sorting for 2 so what in for second index the maximum work is n is uh, 2 number 2 is placed in the uh, last position so n is equal to nothing maximum work is equal to nothing but n minus 1 which is equal to 3 but minimum work is equal to 1 and here also same thing and it goes on okay this is the uh, we are doing only three times uh, iteration for this uh, uh, fourth series but if there is uh, if n is equal to 7 then you will be doing it for six times uh, till n minus 1 okay so if you see observe this uh, actually the num work so minimum work is always used to be one okay and maximum work all depends on number of series okay so 
when they give you a, uh, some technique okay for example they have given this 1 3 4 2 and they have uh, asked you to find out the work so you i have explained you how to find this work here but what about they give you the work that is work they have given you that's uh, like 6 and they have given n is equal to 4 how to approach that okay let me show you here okay here what you need to do is if they have given you n is equal to 4 and w is equal to 6 you have to go completely from reverse order okay first you have to keep 1 2 3 4 okay and since actually like uh, for every uh, series right you need to have uh, the work minimum work is 1 so we are considering that minimum work okay and we have can say minimum work for everything for example if i go to this uh, first slide okay the minimum work is 1 1 1 which is nothing but total minimum work is nothing but 3 okay for fourth series same thing uh, when i go to this uh, second slide the minimum work here is uh, 3 6 3 is equal to 3 so if they given you work as 6 you are subtract with 3 okay for every digit every uh, work every iteration you have to subtract 1 1 instead of doing it we are doing it at the beginning only and then we are starting to reverse it okay and now after doing this uh, 6 3 is equal to 3 we are going in the reverse order okay now uh, for this we are going from starting right for this reverse order engineering we are going from the end position okay so and uh, from this n minus 1 position okay so we are checking whether uh, uh, what is the work remaining so here the work remaining is nothing but uh, 2 right and uh, sorry 2 uh, but 1 already we have subtracted above so it's 1 so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and we are keep on subtracting until the work remaining becomes zero okay and then we are just reversing it when we subtract this one right we are reversing this two and then we are going to the next uh, uh, we are going to the next uh, series and we are checking how much work is remaining now okay so work remaining is two right and here to reverse this three numbers it takes uh, two work because already we have subtracted one here and so 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and we are reversing this entire array and it will become uh, this is the our series output okay so let me quickly show you in the output huh? okay so i think let me copy this only and let me place it over here okay and let me just uh run the test okay meanwhile i'll just explain you the code okay let it uh, happen okay so i am just reading this uh, test case number of test cases and for every test case i am reading the uh, work and c c is nothing but total work and n is nothing but uh, the total uh, numbers in a series and i am finding out uh, c is equal to n minus c minus n minus 1 which is nothing but 6 minus 3 okay 4 minus 1 is 3 so it will become uh, 3 here remaining work is 3 and i am iterating from the last position so as you see here i am iterating from Uh, last but one from third index okay till the zeroth index and step minus one and here i am finding total work okay i am just subtracting okay uh, uh, the total work for every series so let me quickly show you that okay the total work for this uh, n is equal to uh, when when you start from the reverse order no total to, total available work here is one the total available work here is two and so on for a series bigger series it keeps on increasing the total available work okay so that's what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to find what is the total work available for that n minus 2 starting and so like slowly i'll be keep on uh, reducing it and uh, used is nothing but uh, i'm just trying to find out okay so uh, that remaining work okay sometimes can be greater than the total work total available work that's why i'm trying to find out the what is the minimum of the both of them okay and i'm using that same thing and once i use that work i'm also have to subtract that because i used that work right i subtract that and then i'll be reversing that series here over here i would recommend i will be placing this code in the, this github so i would recommend that you only do this step by step debugging so you'll understand this clearly how it works and finally once i do all this uh, uh, for the n minus 1 series then i am displaying the answer so as you see here we have found the answer here as the perfectly 1 2 3 4 1 2 and so on so 
let me come down and by the way this and uh, this is also both are correct answers okay so I, I as i mentioned before the answers can be more than one okay and they are mentioned here okay so now let us quickly submit the solution okay so i hope this video is very helpful for you uh, for you and uh, you can just uh, like and subscribe for my channel uh, for getting future notification and uh, next we will uh, check out this uh, median sort which is also very interesting and then we have finally this one this is all about uh, statistics is very this is also very interesting problem of 2021 okay guys thank you very much